We've just concluded the second regional workshop for the Pacific Islands Development for the Charter. Um, it's an unprecedented process that has involved the consultation across the whole region and across the three sectors that we are particularly interested in, public sector, civil society and private sector. In this meeting, we had the, um, another unprecedented element was the involvement of development partners and the bilaterals. And they were involved in the deliberations towards the agreement and now have a very clear picture of the scope and nature of the agreement. We had a consensus amongst the group and the consensus was that this agreement, they can live with this agreement because of the spirit in which it's been produced. A, a spirit of Talanoa, a spirit of involving and, in, and inclusion and belonging. So the, de the delegates now feel that they own this process and that they can direct it along the way um, to ensure that the challenges of climate change, of globalization and development are dealt with. So we're very pleased that the, the uh, delegates engage so closely with this process and we now have a mandate to complete the charter and to take the charter to uh, leaders in the capitals across the Pacific and also into other regional organizations uh, to test uh, whether or not they're willing to sign the annual conference in September. So that's the next stage in the process and we're looking forward to finalizing the feedback and returning a draft to members for them to be able to discuss further. Thank you.